Welcome back to Wigs with Scarlet. Today I'm doing the wig review for the brand new Marsha from Envy's 2024 Spring Collection in one of my all-time favorite colors, lighter red. If you've been looking at this style or this color, please make sure to stay tuned. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, give me a thumbs up, and please check out Pinky Promise in the details. Shop with them seven days a week with Sarah 30 and get 30% off your entire order. Let's get started on this adorable, fun spring and summer wig. Well, what can I say about Marsha except that she checks all my boxes? She is a beachy, PC wavy, flirty, bouncy, asymmetrical bob. And I absolutely think she's adorable. She also has these really cute wispy bangs that you can definitely side sweep and they're not too thick, which I really like because I don't mind a bang as long as I can pull them to the side. I don't like ones that go straight across and I don't like ones that are too dense. Of course, that is a personal preference. But for me, the way the bangs are done on this wig is perfect. So the fringe on Marsha is four inches, which makes it long enough to sweep. Now you could also cut them a little bit shorter. If you wanted to, you could trim them and keep them as actual bangs going across, but most likely you'd have to trim a little bit to get them to lay across because they're probably a little long, at least for most uh, face sizes, without a little snip. So the longest length on this beauty actually is at the very front of these tips here, and those measure about 12, but keep in mind that because of the wave pattern, they look shorter than that, because they're you know curling up into a wave pattern. That is gonna be your longest length because she's an A-line, my favorite. So let's talk about the rest of her dimensions. She does have some flirty layers in here at uh, 8.25 with a 7.25 crown. And the nape is 6.5. And again, it might look like it's shorter. It probably does look like it's shorter than 6.5, but you can't forget that you've got the wave, the curl in there, that's going to make it look shorter than it is. But look at this angle. Oh yes. Oh yes, Envy, you've got my number on this spring collection. I'm telling you, so cute. I would say that she is a low to medium density wig. She's not a ton of hair, but because of the way the style is, she's gonna look full. I mean, that's her style. She's a full looking bouncy girl. And so she weighs just a little bit over three ounces at 3.13 ounces. So she's nice and light and perfect for summer. And I'm a big advocate for synthetics in the summer and in the spring because with human hair, the sun can um, oxidize the hair. And also synthetic wigs are lighter than human hair. So as far as the heat, they're really a better option when you're getting to those warmer months of the year. And as you guys know, I wear both. So this color, this color, this color is described as a cheerful Irish red. Yay! That is my color, a vibrant, cheerful Irish red, but it is blended with some golden blonde highlights. And when we look at her outside, you'll really get a good idea of those highlights. What I like is that the highlights are not overpowering this vibrant red which I can, I just really appreciate because a lot of times a wig is going to say that it's red or vibrant or what have you, and then you get it and it's the highlights take over the red. And, and so it's really more of a brown or a blonde than it is a red, but not this one. If you are a vibrant redhead, lighter red is your color. I know it's mine. It's my absolute favorite color. This is not a heat friendly synthetic. So you need to make sure that you're not using a lot of heat on it. And when it comes to styling, you wanna use some water. And I was watching Taz, I'm sure we all watch her, and she was saying you could use little bursts of heat from a hairdryer on low. And when she says little bursts, I'm assuming what she means is keep it farther away from the hair and just do like a second and take it off and a second and take it off and then try to hold it into place. Now that's what she said. I have not actually tried that, but I probably will try it because she said some things with steam really aren't doing so great on the wigs. 
So let us, let's talk about this cap because there are some new features in this cap. This is Envy's new So So Soft cap. And what they're trying to do here is make the cap more breathable and make the, the lace softer and not so itchy. So they did give you a full extended lace front. They also gave you a double monofilament, putting an extra layer over the monofilament for a softer feel and a, a small silicone strip. They made the knotting at the hairline a lot smaller and so than previous wigs. And so the hairline, and I've seen previous wigs, the hairlines on these are amazing. And as they go back, the knots get a little bit bigger, but this extra piece of material here is helping give it a natural appearance on the part. And the way they've done the knotting on the hairline looks really incredible. You have your soft velvet ear tabs, your extended nape, your pull adjusters, and it's a full wefted cap. Now, I also saw on another review, the reviewer said that these pull adjusters were not staying put, and so you'd have to sew them. So I tested that out on mine, and I will say that mine stayed in place. So it might be just a discrepancy from wig to wig. Some wigs, it may not be working, and it, on others, it might. Because I, I tried to wear this for a good uh, 15 minutes, and I did not notice that these were coming out or getting loose, just to kind of make that point. So let's look at this amazing hairline with this new lace front that they're doing. I'm really blown away with this hairline and I really wanna get up close and personal on it because the hairline on these new wigs in this 2024 spring collection from Envy, they're phenomenal. And you know, I am super picky about hairlines. And you may look at this wig and think, well, why do you need even need a lace front? Cause it's got bangs. Well, because of more styling options. So let's go up close and take a look. Look at that. I don't see a single knot. That knotting is so small. It just is incredible. And so, brought a little clip. With this adorable cutie and this gorgeous lace front, you know, you can totally put her back away from the face. How cute. It really has a phenomenal lace front. You could also do a little headband and pull some pieces out. So I, I think it's phenomenal. And also see this part line, this is that extra material under there that's, instead of me having to put scar tape and powder, it's already giving me a natural scalp illusion. And I love a scalp illusion, that's a requirement for me. And remember, I like to part on the side, but you can part anywhere you like. You can part on the opposite side or down the middle. She is just super duper uber cute. Let's look at my favorite red in a synthetic of all time in more lighting. This is the lighter red in front of my slider where I really feel I get the best color. You do see those blonde golden highlights now, right? In, in some lighting, you don't really see the highlights, but you definitely see it when you go into your outdoor lighting. And I noticed that they put more of the blonde towards the front. When you go to the back, you've got more of the pure Irish red. If I can try to get that for you. Yeah, see the back has less of the blonde. Outside. Ooh, look at that sun hit that color. Wowza. Calling all my redheads on this one. She is a beauty. If you are a vibrant redhead, I would say this is your go-to color. It is my go-to color in a synthetic. And I'm getting this color in Charlotte as well. Absolutely love it. Last thing I wanna talk about is there is a little bit of permatease, not on the top, but a little bit on the sides and towards the back of the crown right in here. It's not a huge amount. It is not you know, poking up everywhere. You really can't see it. And what that's gonna do is just give you a little bit of option to really lift this out and up to just make her, you know, if you like bigger hair, you wanna go real wild with it, you know, you can scoop that up. I will say that this is a style that's gonna be flatter on the top and bigger on the sides. That's the way it's supposed to look. It's supposed to be a rounded look. And here's where you see more of the Irish red without the highlights back in here towards the nape. So if you like what I'm doing here again, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, give me a thumbs up, 
send me a comment. I'd love to chat with you and get to know you better. Don't forget to support our small businesses. Pinky Promise, the details are in the description. Use my code Sarah30 to get 30% off seven days a week, and I'll see you at the next one.